I have three printers from Minikubic in my print farm. The Cobra S1, Cobra 3 V2, and the Cobra 3 Max. The only printer out of those three that gives me lingering issues is the Cobra 3 Max and its warped bed. To mitigate the warped bed as best as I can on the Cobra 3 Max, I have to let the bed heat soak for 20 to 30 minutes before printing, and I still get poor first layers on some prints. The Cobra 3 Max now serves as a reserve printer, only being used when I have an emergency print job and my other printers are in use. So why would I potentially waste more money on another Inicubic 3D printer? First, the Cobra S1 and Cobra 3 V2 have been decent printers for the money. I've seen other Cobra S1 owners complain about work beds or having multiple errors pop up. I guess I've been lucky, as the only issue I have with these printers is the multicolor flush volume logic. Now I simply use the A systems for filament rollover and as dryers. When Anycubic started teasing a new printer, I figured it would be a bigger, larger Cobra S1. And that's exactly what they're releasing, an improved S1 with a larger 350 millimeter build volume. At $1,000, it will be cheaper than the K2 Plus and H2S combos, which are its main competitors. What really caught my attention wasn't the printer itself, it was how Anycubic as a company started seeking feedback from and really listening to their customers. This is a refreshing approach to it all. Oftentimes, established companies do not listen to their customer base. It's a strange modern dynamic, although it remains to be seen if this is a real change of course by Anycubic or simply lip service. While it can be hard on companies, and I will not forget their misdeeds against consumers, I am willing to give most another chance if they make good products while respecting our rights. The Corporate S1 Max appears, on paper at least, to be a good product at a decent price. Anycubic seems to have learned from their mistakes in regards to the S1. And the S1 Max, if Anycubic can deliver on, could take sales away from the K2 Plus and H2S. Unfortunately for Anycubic, the Bontech Index and the Snapmaker U1 are ushering in the mainstream tube changer era. However, this single tool head printer is far from dead. I suspect it's going to take several more years for tool changes to take place of a budget single tool head printer. There is the elephant in the room. Anycubic is still pretending that Cobra OS isn't based on Clipper. I hope they open up the S1 Max to allow those that wish to go full Clipper can, and those who wish to stay on stock, can continue using Cobra OS. They only have to see how successful Snapbaker has been with the U1 and its use of Clipper. You can still develop an ecosystem around your product while respecting open source. So, are you interested in the Cobra S1 Max? Do you think Unicubic is really changing? Post your comments below. I would love to hear from you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.